So guys, welcome back to another super special episode of Box Mining. Today is the 28th, sorry, 24th of August. I'm so excited today. So this came on the front page of the major Hong Kong publication, Apple Daily. Holy crap, I did not expect to see this one. It's like a front, it's not even like you have to flip through the newspaper to see it. No, it's front page, front and center, guys. I'm so excited. This is why I delayed my stream. I'm like, I just had to share this with you guys today. Um, so yeah, it's bright and early here in the morning. It's 11 a.m. in Hong Kong time. My wife actually went down to pick up one of these. Um, like I was preparing for a stream. Like I had to, I, I got to get this. I got to get this to show you guys front page center of Hong Kong. What it says is I got Bitcoin logo in English. Obviously it says Bitcoin will never ditch you. And in big bold letters in Hong Kong, it's very colloquial here. It says banks. Today, you're not ditching me, we're ditching you. Holy crap, that's a powerful message. This is what Bitcoin is about, guys. That's why we're here. Because, you know, Hong Kong, we've been through a lot and a lot of political messes. And uh, a lot of people are asking, is, is Apple Daily a major publication? Yes, hell yeah. It's one of the biggest in Hong Kong. And Apple Daily was at the center of a lot of political turmoil because their CEO chairman was arrested for under the anti-secession law anyways. So not, now a lot of people are supporting Apple Daily because of its independence from in terms of media privileges, right? It's not, not like, you know, it's like they're more independent than every other news publication. Crazy. So yeah, it says, talk, talks about Bitcoin at the end. Bitcoin is digital money. It's not issued or controlled by any government or corporation. No one can stop you from transacting on the network and it cannot be shut down. Bitcoin is available to anyone regardless of their nationality, gender, or beliefs. Bitcoin began with the, Bitcoin began with the Genesis block during the financial crisis of 2009. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy times, guys. But yeah, um, what more can we have, right? What more can we have in Hong Kong? I think this is something that's gonna happen in Asia too. Like this is just smart, this is just smart. It's like with all this that's happening, I think people have got to start to see this very, very soon. Basically, with all this political tension, banks, our assets become at risk. They're the easiest target for a lot of this political mess. And you know, I've refrained from commenting from politics. Two reasons. One, because politics is a big mess. And honestly, right now, if I say something, most likely it's going to be <laughs> like there's a possible threat of arrest. And also, second of all, it's, it's super messy. It's a big time waster. I don't want to spend time on this. But at my heart, I know this is a big factor because at the end of the day, with all this political tensions going on, one day, banks are just going to leave us. That's absolutely true. And today, like that's the power of Bitcoin. Today, we get the option. Like Honestly, yes. Um, like we know, we knew this, right? But now the whole of Hong Kong knows this. And I think this is powerful. And this is done by a few people in Hong Kong. I think I'm going to keep them anonymous for now. But the kind of cool thing right now is that in Hong Kong, the guys at Genesis Block, uh, I'm not going to say if they're involved or not, because obviously I'm not sure if they want to keep their identities hidden, but, um, they're offering free, um, ATM usage throughout the whole of this week in Hong Kong. So like if you go to coinhere.io and check out any ATM locations, if you are in Hong Kong, free to like no fee ATM usage. Just use like, there's a code. I put it on the the Twitter thing. And apparently you have to use a code for it, but holy crap, man. This is just super powerful and stuff. And uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, we got some questions, so that's why we're beginning it with this. I'm just so excited for this, like Bitcoin front and center of Hong Kong, guys. I'm just gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm just so excited. Like this is like, and I think this is kind of cool because I, you know, I put this online, right? And I, I put this online, and I'm like, oh, you know, it's cool. But if you hold it in person, like if you actually hold it in person, you're like, holy crap, this is the front page of this newspaper. Like that is awesome. That is so awesome. It's like, it's not even in the middle of the page, right? You don't have to flip to find it. Like this is front page, front and center. I'll show you guys another photo. I'm just super excited for this. Um, so like, if you see a stack of this, 
like um there's you can actually see a stack of this paper like i, I put it up somewhere i think i put it on reddit just now um let me just make sure let me just see it just make this hot guys let's see new this guy this guy this guy yes this guy so I, I sent this picture i just had to right um uh guys share this if you can as well um gotta raise some aware awareness but i i put this photo because someone sent a picture of a stack of these right so you have a stack of this and it's just all bitcoin it's like this the bitcoin logo is perfectly perfectly positioned the message is super clear um what more can you ask right what more can you ask guys so it's a start i mean some people are saying oh it's just mass um mass adoption etc but you know it's it's also um it's it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some time but honestly just so cool to see it on the newspaper today august 24th i'm gonna save a copy of this i'm super excited i know you guys can see the excitement on my face all okay, right so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna update you guys on cryptocurrency markets what's gonna happen what's the overall narrative i was actually super busy as well over the entire weekend lots of farming to do i moved farms around a few farms including curve they're getting their, their apy is getting low you know it's it's like only 80 <laughs> percent can't believe I'm saying that. But anyways, so those yields are dropping. So we're going to take a look at what's happening on the yield farming front. We're talking a little bit about the decentralized finance front. Everything, everything. We're going to do Q&A. Um, I researched, I think, another six projects over this weekend as well. And you know how I screwed the, t um, the, t the fingering. But anyways, I'm super excited today. And um, yeah, we're going to do all that update today. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you smash up those likes. And a big thank you as well. Just before we started, we have an OG member. We have H Smiley Face just upgraded membership to OG King. Thank you so much for your support on this channel, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Sam. Thank you. And thank you. Big thank you to everyone on just chatting right now i think it's just super amazing that you guys are all here really appreciate you guys coming in on these live streams i know yesterday when i scheduled a stream i accidentally said it as yesterday night i was just really tired that night i'm like every day i'm sleeping pretty late and waking up pretty early so it's kind of crazy for me just the amount of research and work that i'm doing and putting outputting right now it's insane and i really I think this market is something like if you guys haven't noticed already now is a time to pay attention really like no joke like i've told every single one of my friends like yo if you gotta want want to watch bitcoin and everything that's happening in the crypto space you gotta pay attention right now not only are we able to ditch the banks right there but we're also able to completely replace them with a lot of the systems that's happening in decentralized finance i'm using them more and more it's kind of crazy and well we'll talk about it today so guys thank you so much we got jose Britos giving the vitalic clap nice h says love thanks michael love your work mate love you guys too guys let's check it out let's go straight into so every time we start this we have a mini ad for my podcast that's why i'm trying to promote it out so i'm gonna do that in my most commercial voice possible so bitcoin out of the box it is my podcast bridging that gap between privileged institutional investors and the rest of us here in that retail space super amazing interview state of defy with sam bank bankman fried cz ceo of binance he talks about his future of binance exchange and what they're doing bobby ung coo of coin gecko i mean jeff kredekis trust swap arnie hill plutus defy ruben yep z coin these are huge names you can listen to them on the go anywhere basically just search bitcoin out of the box it's on apple Podcasts as well i'll put the link just out here but you can search for it bitcoin out of the box it's just pretty much searchable everywhere i listen to it on personally on spotify i don't have apple Podcasts. there's also google Podcasts you can listen to it with but it's pretty much everywhere so um i use the aggregator to publish this everywhere so it should be everywhere and yeah just check it out bitcoin out of the box so anyways let's go straight on to what's happening on the markets just give you guys an overview so not too much in terms of major point movements right if you look at it bitcoin and ethereum barely move this weekend yes we had a dip so we got rejected on bitcoin off um, above 12k so we're talking about that a little bit i'm gonna throw you guys trading view in a sec let's throw that up here so we did get rejected off 12k that that did happen we talked about that as well on friday and then now we're slowly kind of just 
sitting there doing not much so bitcoin itself the juggernaut the giant it's waiting it's waiting for that accumulation there's this rumor right now that bitcoin isn't moving too much because of whale activity so we've seen a few huge whale movements that they want to take profits that's a reasonable theory so let me just throw you this theory here so apparently the whale that sold at the 12k price after accumulating for 22 months decided to sell so people are tra tracking whale movements they're tracking out when they start buying so when when whales start buying when they start kind of accumulating bitcoin so apparently this whale was accumulating bitcoin around six thousand so now it's like almost double and that's almost 9k in bitcoin that's insane that's a huge whale that is a gigantic whale it's just absolutely insane i mean if it's nine thousand bitcoin and then he made around what six thousand dollars with it that's like 54 million dollars trying to do some mental arithmetic here correct me if i'm wrong 54 million dollars sounds about right so yeah male whales making a hell of my money so that's a possible reason why there is a rejection on this point is that there were quite a few whales that were accumulating during the bear market and then they're just cashing that out now that makes a, some sense so right now we're kind of in that period of either accumulation for a new phase of whales so yeah so the rejection off here might be because of the 2012k whale and also right now we could be accumulating here as well for a new group of whales to take us further up so that's kind of the narrative that we're in right now where what i'm calling in this is the golden <laughs> it's not a golden triangle i'm gonna call it the golden channel that we're in because whilst bitcoin's not moving the altcoin space is just absolutely blowing up so even if, if you look at the 24 hours aragon nam nem sorry nem not nam aragon nem sia coin cosmos bat all moving up even algorand swipe zcash they're all moving up a lot over this weekend. And I mean, if you're talking about the whole yield farming DeFi scene, I mean, this is just absolutely crazy, right? Over the weekend, we saw yield, the yield farm leader, Wifey. Remember this, guys, when I when I told you you can get it for free? Just remember? Remember that? Remember that when I told you, hey, guys, check out this DeFi yield farming thing, you know? Um, I still remember selling Wifey at 600. <laughs> I was like, yo, this yield, gotta make my profits. And um, yeah, so DeFi scene is still kicking off huge right now because Wi-Fi, there's no more issuance of Wi-Fi. That's why the price went up like crazy. And the crazy story here is like after posting and telling my friends about Wi-Fi yield farming, so not everyone went in. Everyone's like, uh, like I think around eight out of ten people thought it was a scam, thought it was too risky. But then two out of ten people, like out of the people I told, went just all in berserk, right? I know at least three friends that went in with uh, more than half a million dollars to mine Wi-Fi. They're pretty off right now. They're pretty well off right now. I just say that that's a very big understatement. Um, I know some friends that mined it and sold it. I know some friends that mined it and kept it oh god that's insane that's insane reminded and kept it holy crap guys so that that's why wifey started its whole yield farming revolution there are so many different coins after this we talked about yf link yf value grapes yams spaghettis i, I don't know what there is there there's a lot of people trying to capture the original value of wifey and everyone who thinks wifey is overvalued at this point trying to jump on and mine those new coins this is why this whole yield farming genre has been created but at the, time, at the same time it's a quite a bit dangerous like when i first started with all this yield farming stuff i didn't really realize too much about impermanent loss I learned that pretty quickly um <laughs> yeah and a lot of new pools now like zzz and yfe both have very high rewarding pools but all of them have the risk of impermanent loss so we'll talk a little bit about that probably we'll make a dedicated video on impermanent loss because it's so important but to be honest um this weekend i was farming myself i was moving pools myself and there's just no time to actually make videos um i'm finding that time crunch to be quite bad 
right now like literally because of like i screwed up a few things with managing my funds because i put them on a few different accounts on a few different treasures and ledgers and whatever i split them apart on different hardware wallets so then like managing it is a nightmare it's like literally a nightmare and you have to be so precise when you do everything because honestly with crypto the walls you can be your own banking and ditch the bank as well you have to pay attention because if you send it to the wrong address it's gg and I think just yesterday, one of my friends um, sent Bitcoin to the wrong address and it just lost forever. Like a, a single Bitcoin. Like these are like super whales, I guess. They just sent no test send, just send one Bitcoin, no problem. That's like 111K, no problem, right? Just sent it. Oh, sorry, wrong address. So sad. So, uh, <laughs> cry another day. Okay, move on. <laughs> This place amuses me. This may, this way amuses uh, me. But anyways, guys, um, we'll talk a little bit about yield farming today, but that's kind of the overall situation. The The market's been quite steady. Ethereum also quite steady. Um, a lot of the top coins here are just kind of cruising by. They're kind of waiting for the next move. And I think a lot of people are waiting for Bitcoin to move in many senses because Bitcoin being a juggernaut that it is, if Bitcoin moves out of this golden triangle, the golden, not triangle, golden channel out here, and we start exploring 14k obviously that's going to bring more and more of the general public but also all the altcoins that will have to bend the knee and lo lose to bitcoin because bitcoin is such a big mover so i think that's why the major altcoins are still kind of staying steady they're all just kind of calm during this current narrative and then all the DeFi projects are just going absolutely crazy like if you followed wifi 2 um uh, that went insane over the weekend um it's a situation where i still kept some and i was just like because i mined it right the story with wifi 2 was that this is a wifi clone in asia so chinese some good chinese developers um cloned wifi and then they start launching it and then most people thought it was a scam at the start and in fact i thought it was a scam until someone like someone posted this on my my telegram group i'm like that sounds like a scam i should ban you and then um i obviously went to research a team and i found that dovi wang from primitive ventures was super into it i checked out their wechat chinese group and they're like oh they're okay and i actually also helped sign their governance um multi-signature accounts i like did this all for free just to research just to figure out what's happening and then people got so angry at me this is uh, let me rant for this people are so angry at me they're like oh wifi 2 lost value you're a scammer how much they pay you for this people just start spewing random stuff trying to insult me because look at that i took a deep dive but wifi 2 started building the vaults they started building something like actually delivering and then people started getting super excited for it that was this weekend so anyways, anyways, that's the kind of situation. Um, so going back about this, um, we got quite people have asked me about different coins. We'll try to answer that very soon, but kind of that narrative or the mining narrative is quite interesting. So let me just start diving into the mining narrative and story. So Wifi obviously went crazy ape shit this weekend sorry for swearing and then wifi 2 also and a lot of the other wifis went up a few coins also dropped in value and this is kind of the risks of crypto the current mining gig right now or the yield farming gig right now where um there's two types of pools i show you guys with yfv very quickly so this kind of demonstrates it so with yfv there's ty two types of pools the c pool is where you don't suffer in permanent loss and you know guys um I was actually very suspicious of YFE. I think a lot of people sent me this when I first launched. And the first day they launched, they screwed up a little bit. And then the second day they launched, they also had a few, like they, they brought their issues up. I think those was kind of key. But anyway, so this is a staking pool where you just stake your stable coins. And this one does not have impermanent loss. So this one is, the risk for this one is smart contract risks. So this is like, if their smart contract sucks and some hacker manages to s steal funds or siphon funds from the smart contract, that's the hard part. The, the kind of issue or kind of interesting part about all these contracts is that once they're just kind of deployed, they cannot be changed. And this is why people trust putting funds inside is because the, the contract will always abide by the rules of the contract. So, so long as this contract is designed very well and has received audits, it should be safe. But now YFE has not actually 
received audits. And uh, this is something that I was actually quite concerned about throughout most of last week. But this week, I managed to speak to the devs. They ensured me they really did spend a lot of time on it. And a few of my trusted friends also looked at it, all right, looked at it, but did not audit it yet. So it's still a waiting audit. I can still say it's quite risky. And what you can do and what like people have been doing is that if you are worried about these, you can look at them yourself. So there's actually a diff compare. So if you look at the the code here, I actually put this on my article about YFV farming. You can view the contracts versus audited contracts before. And one of my major concerns before was that there were huge modifications here. So this is the YFV contract here. Um, and there are huge modifications. Like there's like lines and lines of new code audit um, being added. So these all present or present rather a vulnerability risk or a potential vulnerability until it gets fully audited. So that's kind of the case with everything there. So that's one of the risks. The other bigger risk or the more rewarding pools are like these ones so for these ones this is the risk with smart contract risk but there's no impermanent loss risk all these other pools include impermanent loss so like these pools have a lot higher rewards like these ridiculous two thousand percent annual percentage yields and the reason why is that with impermanent loss what happens is that if these are paired with yfe so you must have a little bit of yfe and pair it into a liquidity pool on balancer so what happens is that if yfv loses value very quickly all right so if it suddenly dumps or if there's a risk that the developer can mint new coins and just like dump it to oblivion then that's the risk there so um, if you look at YFE, it's like there's a drop in value, right? Went from like $40 to 20. So because you're holding that token, you actually are exposed to the market conditions. So that, that is called impermanent loss. And that's actually quite real as well. It's like, um, I suffered this myself on YFFI when I mined it. And then I started learning, okay, look, if it, no side it's like i can tolerate maybe like a 30 percent dip or maybe a 40 percent dip because the rewards are still bigger but if the dip is like 90 percent then you're at risk of like a huge impermanent loss risk so anyways that's kind of explaining the risk to you guys um like it's hard for me to approach a subject now this morning uh i'll just tell you about this this morning apparently someone was speculating on grapes or grap and they're like oh i just lost all my money or something like that um help me sir please rescue me or something like that i'm like guys if you are over speculating in this space like everything i do right is very very controlled like like it takes a lot of willpower and a lot of determination to make sure that you are not emotional and that you make a correct decision. I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot advise you on this and I, nor can I rescue from this. So this is why like every time I talk about this, this is what I'm actually interested in. This is what I'm actually doing. But and this is a first hand account of it. But at the same time, I see that some very, very irresponsible people are just, just going ape sh shit over this. This is just like, they're just buying this and speculating and losing all their money. That is not as cool. It's not smart. Um, we kind of joke about this, but like when I see these messages, it, it, it should make me sad, but I've seen so many over the years. It doesn't anymore. Like if you're not responsible in this place, please leave. Like if you cannot manage your risks properly if you put your whole life savings you leverage your house on this you put you put yourself into credit card debt over this please do not be in crypto it's still very very early it's still very um you know it's, it's super exploratory a lot of these things have absolutely no value whatsoever developers said it zero value whatsoever if you want to speculate on this you are like outright gambling and the people that we are like the people that like can do this properly are people who are using like 0.1 percent of their net worth or one percent or like two percent of their net worth to do this um please do not be a degenerate um i can't like i joke about this all the time on my channel because you know sometimes it's just stupid as hell but this is the final warning i'm pretty much telling you guys you know if you guys cannot manage risks um if you guys are gonna put your house on this please don't all right that's just not cool anyways back to happiness or degeneracy um we're going forward so obviously for this um 
for me, what I'm doing is I'm having the right amount of risk exposure to this. I'm learning very, very quickly how to do this properly. Obviously, there's a ton of money to be made here because with yield farming, all the new coins that I've been reading, they're just giving out coins to yield farmers right now. It's a new way of coin distribution, pretty much. So that's why I learned it. That's why I'm firsthand telling you guys what is happening and I hope you guys are doing well. So on that note as well, so if you guys want to join us and discuss about this, I'm going to open up the group. All right. So manage group. We're going to, we're going to open up our group, which is now private. We will open this up for roughly an hour for everyone to get in. So I just put this up right now. Um, if you guys want to come in, jump in, hop in with us, discuss what you're doing, discuss what you're, um, what you're researching, etc. Um, yeah, that, that's the group for you. That is the absolute group. Join the group right now. There's only an hour. Once this hour is over, I'm going to close off the group again. So with this telegram group, um, I wanted to stay away from paid groups. Okay, this is my story with all these Telegram groups. It's an absolutely amazing way of sharing information. A amazing community too. The Telegram group is the strongest Telegram group ever, in my opinion, obviously. But this Box Nation group, definitely worth getting in on. But at the same time, we had a lot of spammers. People just constantly dumping their coin and saying, look, buy my bags, right? No one wants to buy your 10X bags. Let's be honest. We just want to share information, get good intel, and actually grow together. That's the objective of the group right now. That means, of course, we do have to close this group off to spammers. That's why, unfortunately, just because of the way how some negative people, not you guys, obviously, some negative people are in this space, some people just come and dump spam on us. So that is why we are closing this group off and we only open this group up in like a very short amount of time for people who genuinely care and then we weed out all the trash. That's just unfortunate. I hate to be elitist like this, but it works. All right. And the quality of discussions after we closed off the group, I just skyrocketed. It just blew up and we're going to do some weeding out as well. I'm just going to clean out anyone that's like, I think I guess lurkers. If you don't contribute, it's hard. That's a whole part about crypto, right? You got to bring something to the table to take something from the table. You can't just constantly take from the table. You know, it's like a free meal here. It's a free buffet. Yay, just take information. You got to contribute. So we're thinking of some ways to improve the group and improve the contribution levels, everyone. And we'll give you guys updates. But right now, free to join. We're not going to charge you anything. But just keep that in mind. Don't spam us. Cool. Um, Kai Do says, buy my bag, Mike, my call. <laughs> we got Kenny Diamond, WTF 500 viewers. <laughs> Crypto super high. Everyone's here to watch this newspaper. That's what everyone's here for. Everyone's here to check out Apple Daily front page, guys. Front page. Um, Brent says, this Telegram group does not exist. Oh, uh, weird. Let me, let me check this link out. I think people should be joining right now. Let me just double check it. Um, Huh, interesting. Manage group. Tell me if you can join. It should be... Uh, okay, fine. I'll put it as public for now. Uh, okay, people can join it. People can join it. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Join this. Join this with this link. So, yeah. Um, big critique says, when I click the link, I click the link to join, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, I'll make it public then. I'll make it public for... Um, box by my screen. Save it. I'm, I'm going to make it public and then we're going to copy the link if I can. If I can, of course, please let me copy uh, t.me slash box mining live stream only. That's the link to do it. Uh, t.me. All right, I'm just, I'm just posting the link up. Okay, so this should work. This should 100% work, guys. Group does not exist. All right. All right, guys, just use that link. Um, here we go. They locked you, drop with the link. Okay. So anyways, guys, um, Nick Jesus, is that a big newspaper in Hong Kong? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> We got a lot of YFE guys here. So YFE guys, um, so we have two big coins that have 
kind of impermanent loss right now that um, can be mined with impermanent loss rather. So YFV being one of them, YF Link being one of them, ZZZ being one of them, I'm mining all three. Um, yeah, play at your own risk, guys. I, I did actually speak to the YFV guys, like the devs behind it. They're anonymous, but um, I did speak to them over the weekend. They kind of uh, made sure that what some of my fears are removed um, and I feel much better about them. So yeah, like they're actually not scammers, which is great and they know what's happening. So anyways, um, let's take a look at everything else on the market. I guess, I guess we're pretty much done for the biggest news, I guess. Um, let's see. I mean, uh, okay, here's the deal. I read Point Telegraph every morning, but I kind of like have a mental filter about what I want to read because, you know, there's a million things that are out there. But okay, so first of all, price stuff, I don't really read this anymore because this is just pretty much nonsense. Uh, <laughs> No offense, right? But um, everyone loves talking about price and most of those journalists don't know what they're talking about. Um, next we have, okay, top cryptocurrencies to watch. So Cointelegraph, they're shilling their bags, which is great. Uh, we got Coinbase CEO says Apple's still hostile towards crypto. That's not really anything new. Um, see, Apple's really hostile to crypto. And in fact, Apple's super hostile to anything that takes away from the 30% cut. Apple makes 30% on every single purchase. If you guys watch the WordPress battle between Apple this weekend and also Fortnite versus Apple. Apple hates anything that doesn't give them a 30% cut. So yeah. So this whale article was pretty interesting. The whale that sold at 12,000 BTC after holding for two years. Great. We know that some whales are coming or so, uh, we're selling coin telegraph consulting that just advertising their business um people complaining about imf education video we also have a radix thing i'm actually researching radix as well okay apparently it's pretty hot a lot of people love it um i'm actually looking quite closely at radix um people uh Google post work from BPO who, whose employees was involved in Bitcoin scam. Okay, not too interesting. Uh, VPN reaches a million users. Cool, that's great. I mean, we should all be using VPNs at some point or the other. Tell me which VPNs you use. I've been using quite a few. Um, I've been using VPN.ac a lot, but I think there's quite a few that's pretty good as well. So tell me what VPNs you use, guys. I'm trying to see if like, I'm trying to do a VPN, VPN comparison. Um, that's kind of the, the take right now. I think like with VPNs, you gotta use it to hide your identity sometimes to protect you because people track by IP, right? So I've been using the stable one called VPN.ac mostly because when I was working in China, um, it was very helpful, but I'm actually trying to see like a VPN comparison. A lot of people are asking me what's the best one. So suggest me, tell me your best ones and I'll look at them and I'll try to compare them and tell you guys which one works the best for me at the very least. Um, yeah, Binance chain runners should be aware of main hard fork changes. If you guys are running Binance f chain, Anchor provides a good uh, service for that. So recently I've been using Anchor and all nodes. Um, okay, so back in the day, I used to run my own nodes. And in fact, I have a PC right there that can run nodes, but it's way too time consuming. So if you just want to test it out, you can use either Anchor or all nodes, depending on which one you can, like they see, and that's out there. So anyways, yeah, that's pretty much there. We also have miners compete on decentralized network storage for $4 million price. It sounds like a add like a file coin file coins coming oh file coin they need to create some hype i told you guys right polka dot and file coin two very big coins that were circulating in china um and they need they need to deliver this year so polka dot kind of delivered um their prices went up from three dollars to four so you know they kind of delivered on that front and now file coin is next they really need to take that uh, we got Sam Gutala says, I'm very happy with ExpressVPN. Congrats. I think I'll take that out. We got NordVPN. I saw that a lot as well. We got Surfshark. Wow, quite a few targets, huh? Um, so Surfshark, Surfshark. So we got a few ExpressVPNs here. ThorGuard. 
Uh, I should take a look at this. Tunnel Bear, Tunnel Bear. Obviously, if you watch, if you're probably using Tunnel Bear, you probably watch Linus Tech Tips, right? <laughs> I, I see that mentioned all the time. We got Peter Lotto. Peter Lotto says, Welcome to Team Crypto. Absolutely awesome. Congratulations. Um, okay, so uh, Osmar Ray says there's a global comparison chart somewhere. Top five VPNs, big five VPNs. Um, let me check that list, actually. The only problem with this is that it's so commercialized that like someone's going to try to tech, like, tech Radar and CNET. I guess they're kind of reputable, but they always have ads in it, no? Okay, so Express, Surfshark, Nord, VPN Vanish. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. I'm just looking for like a super fast one. Um, we got a question about uh, box money. What do you think about Softlink? I actually haven't looked in Softlink. That's one of the things that I wanted to look at. Um, I think the distributing coins out. I have no idea, actually. I'll look into it. Um, why not? Uh, we got Nick Jesus, RIP Funnel Bear. All right, so all right, so we have a lot of people questioning things about different coins and VPN. So I'll take a look at this whole VPN thing. Um, we got T one four U one says the Telegram group keeps crashing and booting me. So if you get booted from the Telegram group, it's because you have to message. Uh, we have a bot that makes it so that you have to message at least once before um, the the thing thing lets you in. Um, yeah, so just the Telegram group is pretty guarded. It's pretty guarded. All right, cool, cool. Um, Phil M says it's all referral links, not reliable. Exactly, that's what I kind of thought. Um, you want a good one, but most likely the big ones aren't bad, right? I think it's a case where like, if you want a good meal, just go to McDonald's. McDonald's probably has the most people shilling it, and it probably isn't the best meal, but it's a meal and it'll get you fed, right? Maybe get you fat too, but <laughs> it'll also get you fed. All right, okay, let's look at some um, comments and uh, questions and comments. Oh, I, I gotta show you something cool as well. I bought this over the weekend. Look at this. This is something cool. This is Gigabyte Aura Solid State Drive. I'm gonna upgrade my computer today. Um, one terabyte of SSD, PCI, PCIe Express 4.0. That's freaking cool. That's like my weekend purchase of the week. This Gen 4 PC. Like it's it's got like a freaking heavy heatsink for an SSD. That's gonna add one terabyte of storage to my PC, which I'm super excited for. Um, and just looking at this, this is like so excessive. Like a thermal vents on an SS on a SSD hard drive. Like really, is that necessary? But anyways, that's that's kind of the case. All right, we've got questions and answers. Let's do some questions and answers. Let's do like five minutes of Q&A, and then we'll come and chat on the chat um, on the um, channel. Also, upcoming videos, we have the one where I had talked about my holdings, like what coins am I holding, and I'll do some coins about what my kind of moonshot takes are, etc., etc. Right now, I'm actually doing everything crypto. I'm yield farming. I'm having. I'm fixing my middle bracket of my portfolio. You guys know that my hodl is Bitcoin, Ethereum, V Chain. But at the same time, I'm kind of fixing my 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 kind of core. Um, secondary core, my middle part, my big medium bags, and then also my moonshot bag. So I have like, have like around, I think almost 40 different cryptocurrencies I'm holding. It's a complete mess, but at the same time, I love it. It's great. Uh, there we go. Um, there we go, rather. And we've got a big correction right there that says Game Pusher says NVMe, not SSD. Yes, NVMe, not SSD. All right. Oh, it still says solid state drive. Okay. Just give me some credits for that. It still says solid state drive, but it's an NVMe SSD. Okay. We've got some professionals here. It's great, guys. Um, all right. So, um, some. We got so many chat things. So take some questions. Some people have thought about Darwinian network just right now. So I think I pissed off a lot of people on Ring and Katon. So I purchased these around three weeks ago, speculating that there might be some play with Polkadot. Um, and people are asking me now about Ring and Katon. So I sold most of that already, uh, mostly because I feel like with the narrative that's going on with Polkadot. So if you guys don't know, Polkadot just shot up, right? So all of a sudden, Polkadot is a thing now. So 
it's actually here. It's number 10. So Polkadot.new, this is now ranked number 10 in coin market cap. If you guys don't know what Polkadot is, you should definitely do a lot more research. It was a coin that was built by Kevin Woods. So it's a Western coin that got shelled really hard in China. China loved it. They super love Gavin Wood. And then the China's shilling that back now to the West. It's pretty cool. Um, pretty insane. Pretty funny. Not very much. But anyways, so Polkadot has an entire ecosystem, including Darwinia, which includes Katon and Ring. So recently what I thought is that with the Polkadot hype that is going on, obviously Polkadot is very interesting to look at. But at the same time, every project is trying to ride off the Polkadot hype. That's just the insanity behind it. And a lot of new projects are doing that too. So recently I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to look at new projects that are on Polkadot rather than old projects because I kind of don't want to buy someone's 10x bags um, in that case. So I kind of reduced everything that was on Ring and Katon, and I'm looking at newer projects that are in the Polkadot space. I guess kind of the, the smart way to look at it. But the biggest risk right now is that um, uh, with new projects, obviously, there's a lot of hype surrounding them, so that becomes more of a liability than anything else. So I think everyone talked about like Mantra DAO and Rio over this weekend. Lots and lots of hype, but then like, can they deliver becomes a bigger issue. Also, we got Phil PHM. Thank you so much for your 50 BGN donation. And also Eric Kim, thank you so much for your 5,000 won donation. Eric asks, what are the chances of a smart contract getting hacked while farming? I would say safe pretty medium uh, because the issue with these smart contracts are that they're holding so much money, right? So a single contract holding $50 million, there's definitely a huge reward for any hacker that tries to hack it. So the risk is still there, um, especially because Ethereum is still relatively new. Um, it is a risk. It is a risk. So that's why like, I'm very, very conservative when I'm also mining. I'm also trying to position myself so that like, even though like the example here would be Curve. So Curve DAO is audited. So the risks are lower, but the APY is lower. So around 80% APY. Um, it's lower to mine there, lower yield to mine there, but it probably would be safer for me, at least I think so. Whilst the newer ones would be higher risk if they're not audited, um, if that answers your question. Um, I hope so. Um, we got uh, Sifran Sun says, are you investing in Daya and CRV? So I think that's a good question. First of all, I'm mining CRV and I sell it every day. I'm not really speculating too much on its value. Reason being because it's early on coin. So the supply is very low relative to the maximum cap. So if you look at CRV right now, it's okay, sir. Sure. Position market cap of $40 million, right? But it's only been mined for a week. So that means in the next week, that supply is going to double. So the, um, the fully diluted valuation is around $9 billion for fully diluted. So this is like at the maximum, maximum supply. What happens is that it's going to be worth $9 billion, which is kind of crazy considering it's like three engineers and they still it's still ongoing. So in that case, if I can just mine it, I'm not buying it. I'm just, if I can mine it and then I can make some profit off it and maybe keep like 10, 20%, which is the kind of rule I've been at doing, that's kind of my strategy. So especially with these early on coins, you're subjected to huge, huge dump mentals. Think about it. Every day, miners are just creating these new coin. This coin gets created and given to miners or yield farmers and then they can just do whatever they want with it. They can either speculate or they can just dump it on the market. So it's still in the price discovery phase. I didn't want to speculate it. So I'm not like, like, I guess if you want to use the word investing, I'm not buying it open market. I'm not market buying it. I'm mining it and selling it. So congrats. If you're buying it, you're probably buying it from people like me. Um, we also have C Prince Sun asking, are you investing in DIA? So I did buy market by DIA. Um, it's a ch Oracle type solution and everyone loves these Oracles right now, especially after Chainlink. So DIA could be an interesting play. Um, yeah, I'm holding quite a bit of it. Like no reason why not. I saw. So there we go. Um, okay. So we also have a question from, um, 
Lauren Adam, is China being more lenient on crypto? What do you think about NEO? They've pretty slowly creeped back to around $20 per coin. Will Polkadot be nailed on a coffin from some of these networks? So China is not lenient on crypto. Um, there is a narrative. There are some people who are trying to... I think they're doing a predatory tactic to try to convince people that China is lenient on crypto. That is not the case. First of all, people are using Decept or China's national digital currency, DCEP, as a way of trying to say that China is more lenient towards crypto. That is not the case. With the launch of DCEP, China actually closed a lot of over-the-counter accounts, trading desks. They closed a lot of accounts related to cryptocurrencies. They do not like crypto, especially public networks that the Chinese government cannot control. They do not like it, period. So they don't want their citizens speculating coins. They don't want that at all. Everything here done in China is pretty much done underground. And yeah, that's kind of the case. So China's not lenient at all. So that's a myth. And in fact, if you look at blockchain service network, blockchain service network just split into two. One that is blockchain service network China. So China specific central government is sponsoring it, but they have full control over it. And BSN International, which is just whatever. You can include whatever public chains you want. It doesn't matter. Like you guys go international, we don't care. But if it's China, China wants control, period. So that's kind of the case. Just be very, very careful about that. Um, and we'll take it how it goes. Uh, Steven says, Steven, what, um, Steven asked, at Box Money, what are your thoughts about YF Link? So I actually spoke with the YF Link team. I think they are actually cooking up something pretty cool. So it's one of the projects that I don't mind farming and mining with the risk of impermanent loss. So that's, I mean, one of the pools to farm it. And also at the same time, I don't mind holding a little bit more as well to see what they can cook up. Um, yeah, seems interesting. So there you go. Uh, we got Academy asking endlessly about SoftLink. I've also responded to you. So please, um, if you guys want to ask a question, only ask it once or we will just directly ban you. I think um, like after learning from my Telegram group, um, having valuable chat is important. And we're also looking for ways for our whole community to deliver value as well. I think I'm kind of changing my mindset here where you, know, you got to give some to take some, right? just how it works i think a lot of people got angry a lot of people i think a lot of people take it as if you want to be in crypto they just want to take free gains um, there's no such thing as free gains i've said that ever since 2017 one of our biggest models is there's no such thing as free lunch no one's going to give you information for free unless you provide some form of information as well so um if you guys want to provide information come on telegram group hop, hop on if you just want to take information don't hop on we probably don't want you sorry um this is how it works right um Uh, Nick G says, Michael, you should make a video for someone who has tons of crypto holdings and explain the different options they have for income using DeFi. I like a few whales. I don't know what to do. Um, I think it's hard. Everything contains risk. Um, I feel like the way that I'm setting it up right now, which is more of a first-hand account of what's happening, works really well. Uh, because I can deliver information faster and keep you guys on the front lines, but also exposes you guys to risk. There's nothing that is actually safe. Yes, um, everything's been doing super well for me. You know, I had a few setbacks. I was very transparent about that. You know, I speculated on yams. That hit me hard. That like that set me back like four days in terms of net worth. Oh no. Um, that hit me really hard. I made up for it by now. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty on top of things. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's a case where like I want to share information, but at the same time, um, if I sh like, I don't know, like I'm exposing myself to a lot of risk, but for very little gain in that case, like I cannot make guys that sound like financial advice or like are in terms of that terms. I think that's harder because, you know, there are financial consultants out there. They charge a lot of money. They make a lot of money. And the reason why is because, you know, 
they don't want to get sued or something i don't know well, i don't know whatever so anyways this is this i would say this channel is more position itself as a first-hand account of what i'm interested in and if you guys are really interested in stuff i'll also do that as well and i think that's the deal with our channel so my two cents uh we got mr t says zzz is way better than yam or wi-fi <sighs> I don't really think so. Wifey has a huge amount of value behind it because Andre is crazy. Uh, Andre is deploying so much stuff. The speed at which he deploys is insane. But I heard a lot of good things about ZZZ this week. Um, in fact, ZZZ is getting one of the biggest pushes for a long time. So yet again, I think there's a case where if someone's very aggressively pushing a coin, usually that puts me off. Um... Because it feels like, you know, they're just pushing their 10x bags. So it really depends on how you promote it. I think everything here in terms of value, all these new kind of defined yield aggregators, they all have value. And uh, I'm pretty much in all of them at this current point. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, okay, one's better than the other. I'm mining, of course, Curve. I'm mining YFV. I'm mining, um, what is this? Guy? Apparently even shrimp. Like I'm mining shrimp. Uh, I kind of, uh, yeah, YF link, obviously. Um, I got out of the pasta pool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. I have like, I have so many things I'm juggling right now. I just can't, kind of forget, but I don't play favorites. Yield is yield. I don't really, you know, yeah. But I think the biggest Z with risk with ZZZ right now is that all the pools have impermanent loss and ZZZ went up a lot in value. So be very, very careful. I would be like, this is on the caution garden mode. I do have a lot of friends that are also mining ZZZ big time. Um, yeah, like super big, like super big time. I have like some huge friends that are big into ZZZ. So, you know, maybe they'll do something cool. Um... Okay, Mr. T says yields are better on ZZZ right now. That's all I'm saying. Awesome. Respect. Respect for that, Mr. T. Sorry for going on at you. I'll check it out. And if the yields are good, definitely. I'm in. I'm in on anything that's good. The only issue I think is in permanent loss for ZZZ. That's the only risk. But if you guys think it's really good, um, it's awesome. SD says, God damn, how many things are you mining? A lot. A lot. Um, uh, primarily this weekend so this weekend i only took half a day off so i think i took around six hours off just like went out walked around a bit and i went back you know i had a lot of calls this weekend too i think oh, every day i'm like on at least three hours worth of calls it's crazy um my, my take on this is that there's a lot of craziness in crypto right now like there's a lot there's a lot of 10Xs. Everything, I think everyone goes a little bit crazy about 10Xs um, or 100Xs even. Um, this current season, I think I had like four to five projects that did get for a 10X. Um, you know, Swap being one of them, Trust um, Uptrend being one of them. Um, I think this is risky to say this, but I got into one of the earlier pools for Mantra DAO, so that's one of them. Um, Wi-Fi definitely one of them. All the YF whatever prize. Yeah, Wi-Fi two also one of them. Um, yeah, it's quite a few, quite a few like ten Xs this entire season, and uh, you know I'm happy for that. I think even MTA got something good, right? I, I bought that at. Um, I tried to bid for it at one point eight, and then uh, I market bought at two point five. And now it's like a five, so not not a ten x, but a two x, whatever. Um, I guess ten x's are sexier. I think a lot of people get crazy about this. You know, they 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 get emotionally very high. Um, something that I do that's really messed up, I think, is I always suppress my emotions every time I identify that I'm getting this high or emotionally compromised or getting emotional over it. I actually just kind of said, you know what be the most boring person possible and be the most logical person possible at this point. Um, yeah, that's just for me. That works very well for me. Like every time it's just, it's always about identifying certain emotions and then making the most logical choice out of it. Um, that's why it sounds super boring most of the time, but it works super well because you're not emotional. Emotion gets the worst out of you. I think like a lot of people don't realize this, but as humans, we're hardwired to feel emotion and uh, you have to plan out a strategy. You have to be super smart, plan out a strategy and plan out how you're going to make your money. Um, 
I guess that's how to do it. Not financial advice, blah, blah, blah. Um, World Pieces think cream has a hold it future. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, that's why I'm mining cream. I talked to you about, I told you guys about mining cream since the day, like day one when it was launched. That was what I was mining for a while. Um, cream is doing very well. Like they're super aggressive. Um, their pools are ending very soon. So I think someone tweeted that out. Um, like there's a there's a chart about what they're they're doing. I think they're, it's on their medium too. So a lot of the pools are ending. Um, so like I, this is what I pay attention to all the time. I just look at these charts. I'm like the most boring person in the world. So today is 24th. So a lot of these pools are ending. So the balancer pools are ending today. The um, cream supply borrow pools are ending today. Um, a few pools are around, so the REN BTC pool is new, so that's going to be online for a, a while, and a CRV pool, but a lot of pools are ending today, so I think that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. I'm not sure if there's going to be a play there, because if these pools are ending, it's good and bad. The good side is that there's less dumps, because if you think about it, every day, 6,000 cream is being dumped on the market every day, right? Like That's being distributed every day. If you think about it at this price, right, it's close to $1,000. No, not $1,000, $100. So that's around $600,000 worth of um, cream being distributed every day, and that could create quite a strong dump momentos. So right now, it's 89 right? But once this distribution stops, that's going to be interesting. That means all the mining and all that stuff, it just stops, right? It just stops hardcore. So that's going to be interesting to see what, what happens afterwards. It might be something potentially cool there. But um, yeah, like, you know, I'm glad. It's one of the things I'm glad to have mined. Super glad. Um, Bitcoin early says, a short video on how to track whales at insider wallets, please. I'll try to do that. I mean, if you guys are experts on that, I've looked into Nansen. Um, there's also a few Z Zeron, Zeron wallet. There's quite a few you can track potential big wallets um, right now. Uh, one of the scary things, someone pointed this out, was that for Wi-Fi 2, um, there's like a big, big miner for it. Um, in fact, the miner that's taking around 99% of the pool. So... Yeah, like these whales are huge. And a lot of times these whales are actually just funds. Like they're big, big funds that take control. And it's cra it's kind of crazy like that. So anyways, um, you can probably do it. So one strategy, like like say, for example, you look at YF2, you look at the balancer pool exchange, you can see, um, okay, let's see, balancer swaps. No, you don't want this one. You want, you want to see the actual balancer pool. Let's see, pool is a balancer. I'm gonna take that link. You want this link because it shows you who are the token holders. All right, so now you can see the pool. You can see who has money in there. There's 21 million dollars inside. Great, and then 350 Wi-Fi in this pool. But more importantly, you can see the pool holders, right? And you can see one giant whale there. So this giant whale, someone pointed this out to me yesterday. Like this giant whale is taking up 99.29 percent. So this giant whale literally has 21 million dollars inside. So then you can just take a look at this wallet. Um, now, now you know that this is the whale wallet. You can scan it. You can track where funds are going which is going to be interesting but yeah that's how you can do research so you can just look at this certain address you can copy this address you can now send it to different wallets and scan it this address literally has what this literally this address is a giant wifi whale look at them this address is holding what uh 430 wifi tokens that's like what 554 thousand dollars worth of tokens plus they're holding this balancer pool token you can also see wait wait is this right is this right no wait i have to scan this up i have to scan this up guys i have to figure out this is actually not this is not a full wallet this is actually a smart contract interesting no this is the staking oh no 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 okay okay okay. all right all right i'm stupid i'm stupid i'm stupid i'm stupid i'm stupid okay all right i'm stupid i'm stupid so okay all right i understand now i understand now i understand now so the person holding these pool tokens, that was a staking contract, idiot. So no, there's no one giant 
pool holder. This is this means people holding it. So the biggest whale would not be the ninety nine percent. This means everyone's staking it, right? So when you're staking, when you when you get these BPP, BPT tokens, you you get them and you stake them on the YV two contract. And then the YV2 contract obviously holds all the tokens, right? Because it's a smart contract. That's why I was like, that doesn't make sense. So that's right. That's right. So someone sent me this. They were asking, oh, if this is a whale. I thought it was a whale at first look, but it's not. It's just a staking contract, which is the whale. So I'm the idiot. So the biggest whale for this is probably this guy. The next highest, uh, you can't really say that. These people are the ones that are holding this, but not staking it. So yeah, that's not the right way to do it. I'm correcting myself. I'm dumb. But yeah, you got to find big movements from that wallet. Hmm. Okay. That's easy. Okay. That solves some of my fears too. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. That's not a, that's not a whale guys. <laughs> Mistake. Ha ha ha. Me being dumb. Ha 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 ha. All right. Cool. Yes. Yeah, it's good. That it's, this is, this is cool. Why you think <laughs> make something up. That's why you think. Yeah. Logic. You see a smart contract there? Oh, now you know what's going on. Okay, now we figured that clue up. So anyways, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, Crypto fung Fungazi says, God bless you, Box. You're not an idiot. <laughs> At least I found out, right? At least I found out. At least I found out. Yeah, it's, it's so easy, right? Because for balance or pool, like the, the steps are right. You can go and see where holders are. But yes, the holders can be smart contracts too. So like the steps are correct. You can see who the biggest holders of various pools are. You can follow the top wallets. Um, I'll give you guys a tutorial soon. Now, I'm not the expert at tracking wallets. I know some people who are. Um, I'll just go play and say, you know what? I haven't spent my 10,000 hours on this yet. I'll do that today. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it today. Um, let's figure out what else is going. Um, yeah, Isaac cases. I was gonna say whale with ninety nine point seven percent. Yeah, it's it's a staking contract that was there. We got YS. Is is that a Grand Seiko watch? Yes, yes. Been loving Grand Seiko recently. It's like, like I bought one. I was like, whoa, this stuff is so cool. Like. Their watches are so well polished. I'm like a biggest Grand Seiko show now. Um, I showed that to a friend and he bought three watches. Uh, it's insane. That's crypto. Okay. Don't, don't blame us. Don't blame us. All right. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for today. We've got questions about uni trade and everything. I'll do a lot more videos. Um, yeah, soon. Um, yeah. Um, I'm obviously tired. I've obviously made a mistake. I owned up to it. That's great. Um, now I like, now we understand more. Uh, we got questions. Do you like band at all? I don't mind band. I think a lot of people are talking about band overall. I don't speculate too much on the Binance, uh, launchpad coins. Um, because by like, I guess like it's like, it's, it's a little bit harder to speculate on that, but you know, congratulations. If you hold band, I don't actually mind, I don't actually mind band too. Like a lot of people I've been talking to are using either band or Solana. So I think that's actually coming up as like something that people actually use. Um, <laughs> Caleb says all my homies hate band. I don't know why there's so much tribalism here going on. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, pretty much. Uh, YSS, do you have Rolex as well? Yes. Um, yeah, but Rolexes are really hyped up right now. It's super hard to acquire. Um, if you actually want to look and like, I was looking at GMT root beer, super hard. Like you're not going to get that retail and I don't want to pay people to scout me on that. So no, um, like that's kind of why I'm like, okay, you know what? These Grand Seiko guys at least can buy them for, for, like at retail and even with a discount and then like, yeah, with Rolexes, you're just like, oh, please, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please, please give me one. And then they're like, no. All right, cool. That's enough for all this watch stuff and shit. Um, Solana is a big blockchain. That's why Solana's, um, the Serum guys are building on Solana. That's why it's getting a lot of hype because um, um, the FT guys are super smart. Like literally in the space, you just follow the people who know what they're doing and you're pretty much good like no joke um like a lot of people are asking me about like leverage trading and all that stuff like let's be honest okay like if you look at ftx and alameda alameda is their kind of 100 million dollar fund they don't trade as aggressively anymore 
um, they're not doing that. They're actually like much more interested in new coins, creating value, creating more stuff. Um, it's kind of crazy, but that's kind of the case. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Alterior clowns. We got so many Grand Seiko fans. Yeah, Grand Seiko Snowflake. That's that's the one I got. Yeah, that's great. Um, super awesome. Um, all right. That's pretty much it for today's episode. I'm um, everyone saying I'm becoming a DJ in chat now. Pretty much. Um, nothing wrong with it, I guess. Just be safe, guys. Let's be safe. Like DJ in chats are making so much money. Um, a lot more people are making a lot more money than me. Okay. Let's be honest. That's why I'm motivated. Um, you know, just be motivated, do some hard work, bring some value. Don't scam people. Pretty much the rule now. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, Game Purchases, favorite mining software or platform? Unfortunately, I don't mine as much right now. Um, I yield farm a lot, um, but I don't farm as much. It just farming is not scalable. You got to buy GPUs and stuff. And I guess, like, I guess when Nvidia releases their next batch of their Ampere GPUs, I'll mine more. But currently, I just don't see the point. Um, like yield farming makes way more, like a lot more, like a lot more scalable too. Like it's just like throwing cash around, and that's great. So you know. Um, that seems much more scalable. All right, guys, but just don't be degenerate like me. Be, be, be pretty smart. Um, don't be a Chad. Um, you know, <laughs> just don't just be responsible. I don't want any more emails or people saying, look, I lost all my money. Just be smart. Um, I can't teach anyone, everyone to be smart. You got to be smart yourselves. Um, you know, you guys got to contribute to the channel a little bit. That'll be really appreciated. And yeah, thank you. We got RM Rem uh, says thank shout out from the Philippines. Awesome. I have some friends in the Philippines. Take care, guys. Uh, last thing, of course, is um, live streams are happening at this time. So we have fr Monday morning. That's today. Monday newspaper. Monday mornings at 11 a.m. Hong Kong time. Friday mornings at 11 a.m. Hong Kong time. And then... Uh, um, um, yeah, we'll do some more streams throughout the week. I think that's the easiest way for me to organize um, information. I'm going to schedule the next stream very soon. Let me just get this guy out. Let me reuse the settings. Um, let me schedule that so you guys can so, can uh, watch that. I'll also do streams throughout the week as well. Um, that's going to be the plan. So uh, why not? Um, so just be watchful of that. If you guys have like... Um, Notification squad turned on. Uh, as I'm saying this, I should definitely talk to my notification squad, guys. Um, so this is a video coming out in three days now, I guess. Scheduled for August 24, 28th. Yeah, that's right. So just hit the like button for that. Set the reminder up for that. That also really helps. And then uh, uh, the link is here. And also we'll do a mini draw for all the notification guys. So what we'll do here is for people who stayed, let me just pull a chat person. So if you guys want a t-shirt, all right, um, just click, just type, I want a t-shirt and I'll just pick you, one of you guys from random. So just do that in live chat right now. So just type, I want a t-shirt. We'll, we'll throw you one of these t-shirts. Um, so it's the box mining slash uh, anti-social crypto club t-shirt. We'll just send you both. I ordered a box of these, and then I realized that shipping takes ages right now in Hong Kong. Um, but anyways, we we or, like we ordered a giant box of these. It's coming in later on this week. Another giant box. The first giant box we gave away, away already, and then we have another giant box coming in. So yeah, we're gonna do some more giveaways for t-shirts. So just type "I want a t-shirt" on the live stream chat if you want one, and I'll do a draw for any video for notification squad guys. So I guess um. I guess this week, how many videos did I do this week? Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. We'll do it for the public published videos, I guess. Uh, there's only one published videos. Um, all right, whatever, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. So random, random number uh, between one, one, two, two, five. Holy crap, there are so many people who want t-shirts? Holy crap. I did not expect that. I was like, oh, people are really quiet. People are super quiet right now. And I was like, oh, no one wants a t-shirt. All right. Maybe I don't know what to do with my box. But then now I just see a flood of messages. Um, okay. Uh, 
Let's go for Genji. Genji 2, I think you spammed like the most. Um, I guess I'm directly promoting spam, but uh, message me at contact at boxmining.com. We'll do an identity verification. We'll also have Tristan. Tristan, thank you. I'll get you a t shirt as well. So we'll have a t shirt launching station, I guess. So Tristan, uh, uh, let me just message this. Tristan Runes, Ruse, and we'll pick um mike let's get mike as well this is so super random i just like i did not expect that we'll, we'll have a better we'll have a better mechanism later um this didn't i did not expect this so yeah so let's do mike uh let's see mike hopkins here we go uh i want a t-shirt there you go here so four t-shirts we'll give you both since i guess it's like mailing is the most expensive part here uh, we ordered these t-shirts off a chinese supplier um yeah, there's only single size unfortunately it's like this size xl which is um which is really just a large for a chinese like sizing is weird but anyways we'll do more t-shirt giveaways i didn't expect that to be so crazy uh <laughs> yeah we'll do this um very soon so we'll, we'll give we'll give t-shirts to genji tristan runes my cops hopkins that's the current three just message me at contact.boxmining.com um for that so we have people who really like free items. I did not expect that. So yeah, so number two got picked out and then we'll do video number two. So video number two is this one, this is live stream. And then I will pick a comment from that as well. YouTube comment picker. Holy crap, should we do more giveaways guys? I did not expect that. I did totally did not expect, um, that to happen so yeah um so that, that's um let's uh okay let me pick up include filter for give hashtag note all right get comments i think notification call people don't even realize it's happening right now so if you guys want more t-shirts uh type hashtag notification squad so this this text here when a new video gets launched and then that's it so winner is legends tube um c5 is dead d5 is the future and hashtag notification squad so congrats um legends dude legends tube so we got four give four t-shirts giveaway uh <laughs> we'll end up for now we'll do more so guys if you want to be part and get a free t-shirt type hashtag notification squad uh when a new video gets launched um be, you know actually click on the notification bell as well i mean i guess that's the whole point of it um and then we'll pick one out like this um so yeah so mike Liu says michael Liu says people like free stuff i didn't know that i i guess um you know if you guys really want so um we did this earlier but i guess like maybe you guys missed this before but we had these engine giveaways and they use qr code giveaways um if you guys want that tell me um just so this marketplace so you can go on engine marketplace you can see the box mining items uh, this is actually kind of crazy so it's just, it's just purely nfts non-fungible tokens like these are kind of cool um uh, for these assets and you can see how many there are. They're also backed by Eng. We did these as a giveaway before, like to test out the engine giveaway system. You scan a QR code and you get it. Um, they're actually worth quite a lot. I mean, this one's worth like what, 20 bucks US. So I guess that's kind of cool, um, you know. And then the coolest one is Pirate Box Mining. The, one of the first NFTs out there. And it's like, there's only like 50 of them. This is where I kind of shoot myself in the foot because um, I created this for fun, right? So I just did this. I I I was at a um, it's a Bitcoin event actually. So this is actually a laser provided by the guys at Hack, and this is for the Halloween party um, during Prague Ethereum DevCon. So while I was there, I took this photo. I was like, ha 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 ha. Let me create that into an NFT asset, and I gave that away to people on this channel. So there's only like 49 of these in this world. Like there were 49 limited supply. I gave them away for free. In fact, like I still remember sitting in Ethereum DevCon. Like I was like, I was like, people want these. Okay, sure. I'll just give them away for free. And I just sat down and literally sent them to people who asked for it. And then I was like, the craziest thing about this is that like the last few transfers were like the market activity for this like people got this for free and they literally sold it for thousands like it's insane i mean i guess the, the sales are going down right now because no one's buying or selling but like they're literally listing it and selling it for thousands of dollars it's just insane like so i'm one of those douchebags creating like thousand dollar nfts douchebag right 
yeah so that's kind of crazy i just searched that up i was like i gave these out for free completely just for fun right i'm just like oh look this is a cool photo it's a celebration anyone want me pm me i'll give you one for free so if you guys still have those i think the marketplace is a pretty good place like to get one so we got bg11 says i got one nice congrats I only have like one of these now. People were asking me for them. I, I gave them all out. I only have one for myself. Like I'm still trying to get more from other people. I'm like, yo, if, you, if I gave it to you and you don't want to use it, just send it back to me, please. Okay. If you don't lose it, don't lose it. It's like one of 50. I want it. It's like one of 50. Like that's just insane. Uh, Crypto Fungazi says, what's Vitalik picking his nose? But Vitalik ignored me. We're all calling for Vitalik and he just got scared and he ran away. Um, that's kind of fun. But anyways, so yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for um, watching today. I didn't realize like these things are so popular. I will definitely do more if you guys like. Um, but anyways... P PHM says, I believe those transfers are self-traded as people like trolling. I don't think so, though. Like, I thought that too, but the market value for these things are insane. There's like a few engine whales out there that like collecting these. Like, um, so that's kind of the funny story is like for the market activity, I was trying out, I was selling these myself. Right? I'm like, whatever, let me put it on marketplace. Let me check it out. And people are actually buying them. Like, they don't have any function. They're just, like, collectible card. People love these. I don't understand either, okay? Um, I'm not... Like, I like collecting things, too. Okay, to be honest. I like collecting things, too. Would I spend thousands of dollars on it? Probably not, because I'm such a cheapskate. I, I, don't, I don't do that. But some people do. So, I guess I admire you for it. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will have more stuff. Um... Michael Liu says, I'll, I'll hold the micro group pirate, the pirate coins. Dude, there's like 49 in supply. You got to find them. It's, they're hard. They're hard. They're hard to find. They are super hard to find. Uh, so we'll have to see on sale. Um, yeah, these things are on sale for crazy prices. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see pirate box mining. Uh, I don't think they're, they're on sale, actually. Anyways, anyway, so I'm, I'm going to stop wasting your time, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's been a crazy day. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is super cool, by the way. I'm super excited from this still. Come on, guys. Bitcoin. 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 And someone says Telegram link, please. Let me send the guys the Telegram link. So, yeah. So, I'll, I'll probably close the link now. So, I'll give you guys another 10 minutes to enter. And then we'll close it off. Um, for now. For now. Um, box mining. Box stream. Box stream only. Uh, yeah. So, this is the one. Uh, yeah so this is one so yeah if you guys um want to join this is super cool um yeah join 10 minutes i'm gonna close it thank you guys so much for watching today see you guys next time